What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today's video is because Confidence on the Track asked I recently started to see producers put their names on songs as if they were their songs like DJ Khaled for I'm the One. I know he's been doing it for a while but I'm seeing other producers like Metro Boomin do it too. Is there any reason why? Heck yeah! So if you aren't completely clear on what Confidence on the Track is referring to, once again just look at DJ Khaled's recent project and you'll see that all of the songs on the project are DJ Khaled featuring all the these artists when typically it's artists featuring another artist and the producer usually doesn't even get mentioned. Comments on a track was essentially trying to figure out why are more people starting to do this and my question is why did producers stop doing this? Because if you look back in history, I remember my first time encountering a situation like this was One Republic Too Late to Apologize. That's my jam. I was like, what? This is Timbaland's song? And then he had that whole project, Shock Value. All the songs were Timbaland featuring other artists. Another occasion when I encountered that was when I just discovered European DJs for the first time. My brother played this dope song by David Guetta, Love Is Gone. When I looked up the song for myself, all right, I'm like, yo, I love this song, I love this song. Oh, there's another song by David Guetta. And then there's a girl singing on it. I'm like, wait, what? How's this still David Guetta? And then I start to realize all the songs are different people, but the same name is there because the producer. So people have been doing that for a while. And we'll get to the benefits and how to do it best in a second. But first, I want to take it back to hip hop. In hip hop, they didn't use the word producer. They were using the word DJ because a lot of times it was DJs in the early 90s and early 2000s. But you you can look at DJ Khaled, Don Cannon, DJ Envy, DJ Who Kid. They had these things what they would call mixtapes. Right? And a lot of people would get the name mixtape DJ. And what were they doing essentially? Some people were taking existing songs and then mix them up, you know, and make it sound a little different, which was cool because it was at least songs people already liked. But it became even more powerful when people started to bring in artists for exclusive verses. Because these DJs being in the club, they would develop a lot of good clout with a lot of these artists. So then for playing their tracks in the club, they would get a return of the favor by the artist actually doing a verse on their mixtape. So now you got this exclusive verse, people are really going to try to hear your mixtape. You know, you got DJ Drama on the cover and all these songs are basically DJ Drama featuring or led and presented by DJ Drama. And the power of that is you then get recognized as a true producer, meaning you are somebody who organizes the resources and presents it as a product, not just a beat maker. And when you think about the fact it's 2017, producers got to start moving like rappers. So I'm hoping you guys get the point. The benefit one is you get this face value, right? People get to know who you are. Producers are constantly trying to figure out how to get in front of the camera. But in hip hop, people aren't going to see producers do live shows like they are in EDM. So how can you do it in a way that you don't annoy people? This is a great way for that. That's why even Metro Boomin has started to do it more as Confidence on the Track mentioned it in his question because Metro is always looking for ways to get bigger and bigger and create the legend that he's already becoming. So here's the strategy. If I was a producer just in the city, don't have a huge name, what I would try to do. One, I'm gonna get artists locally to be on my project. I'm gonna come up with a project and I'm going to give them free studio time basically and give them a free song basically, which is going to go over my project. Maybe you gotta exchange song for song, whatever, but I'm gonna get these exclusive verses and when I pick all these different artists and put them on a project together, it doesn't have to be necessarily the same song, you know, people might not like each other, but they're all gonna be on the same project and you get all their fan bases looking at you, right? Because each artist is gonna send their fan base your direction when the mixtape comes out because they want them to hear that song. And now who's on the cover or whose name or logo is on the cover? Yours, the producer, or mine because I'm playing producer right now. This is constantly building my clout as a producer and a brand because more people recognize it and then more artists are probably going to even try to work with the person. Take it up another notch. Why not try to get a big name? Of course, it's possible to do this without a big name and still get a lot of benefit from it, but it might be even easier to sell to other artists that you might not have a relationship to be on the project if you have a big name on it already. Maybe you aren't able to do it off of straight relationships if you aren't connected like that, but maybe you just save some money to get a verse from that artist. That one verse, if you are savvy enough, you can flip that into easily convincing other artists, hey, you're going to be on a project that this guy's on. I just did a song with him the other day, make it seem like you're on your way to blowing up. They just want to hop with you. So now you got your name associated a little bit with that bigger artist, but you also got these other people on the track 
and you're pushing this product out into the audience, building your name, building your brand in a way that's a lot more organic than, I don't know, just some of the stuff that these producers are doing. And last way to think about it is once you have a product like that, then essentially it's easy to market yourself as an artist because you have your own project. Because I know some of you guys that are producers watch some of my other videos and y'all are struggling, but how can I make this work for me? Well, if you have your own project, now you don't even have to get creative with it. Just do exactly what other artists do. Market yourself like a rapper. All right, hopefully I was helpful. I don't move as much right now because I was in a car accident. I'm straight though, I'm straight though. Anyway, y'all know what to do, dog. Hit that subscribe button.